Mark, Tri-Series round two is here, and um, I, I kind of say it's a pivotal round for the under-14s because they're buying for a spot and results are, are vital, but for everyone else, of course, the development we've been, uh, for, and games within their program must be, must be good to get back out on the floor once again. Yeah, I think it's always good to play more games. You know, we practice a lot, Ronald, but getting out on the floor and being able to put that into, you know, game context is always good for the kids. And as you said, the under-14s is, you know, a vital part of this tournament with uh, good hands, Ronald. Good hands. Still got it. That's it. <laughs> uh, the 14s are really a vital part, you know, to qualify for under-14 nationals. And the competition's been real strong. We just saw... You know, the, the South girls just go, uh, sorry, under 14 boys go down by a point right, to Northwest in what was a really good game. And um, but I just think it's good to get everybody that it program wise in one place playing games. And we do that three times a year. And, you know, this is over, over a two day period. So get to play an extra one or two games right over the course of the weekend is really good. Uh, let's speak about the recent nationals you've been to, under 18. So obviously, a very good campaign, and, and just fell short in that bronze medal game. I watched that game; it was a really good game by you, by you, by your boys. But then um, New South Wales just seemed to get that momentum swing late in the last quarter. But uh, what's your overall thoughts from the week of, of uh, Townsville? Uh, Townsville, one thing recovered really well from the storms. Like it was, we weren't really sure what it was going to be like when we went there, and I think uh, both teams had a good discussion about the storms and what it had done to Townsville and the um, people that have been displaced from their homes and that we're fortunate enough to go there and play basketball and the amount of work that they had done to regenerate the place in a short period of time was remarkable. So from a boys perspective obviously had a, a great a great week, um, had some outstanding individual performances, obviously Rain had a, a great week, Cy Deans, um, Taron was consistent as his usual, usual self, um, and I felt like we were, in, we were right in, in the mix of the medals, and we put ourselves, you know, in, into a, a semi-final position. But you know, in the end, we just couldn't get over the New South Wales Metro. were just a little bit too strong in the end, and they got us by a couple. But we were, you know, we were coming back. We were down a little bit, and probably a little bit too far, you know, to surmount. But to finish fourth, you know, that's back-to-back -back fourth placings for our under-18 boys in. Um, relatively different different groups, all right? So that's a real positive. And um, then this year, earlier on, um, our uh, under-20 boys, you know, finishing fourth in Canberra, which was, you know, outstanding performance as well. Our 18 girls felt like they played some really good basketball during the week. Um, just couldn't get the wins early in the week when they needed. You know, SA Metro, Metro, who went deep into the tournament, you know, got us by three earlier on and, um, but, you know, overall they finished ninth and finished off with three wins, you know, back to back to back towards the, the end of the tournament, which left it on a real positive. Uh, anything to come uh, out at I, I, with our either national camp selections or any, anything there, Mark? Well, the 19s have still got to, to be determined uh, as we go, and that, that'll be... Um, that's the top age under-18 boys that was at that tournament. Uh, for the bottom age, well, we've got Zoe and, and Lauren, uh, Lauren Wise, Zoe Crawford at the uh, camp right now, uh, as we speak, and Cy Deans for the boys is at the, the camp as well. For, and that'll be the under-16 national team to qualify for the under-17 world championships. So they're, uh, they're in camp as we speak. I think they're all going quite well, from, but they've only been in there one day. So we'll see where that leads. All right, Mark. Um must be looking forward to what's ahead. I mean, we've got Tri-Series uh, Round 3 in Hobart coming up very soon. And then we, throw, we then we go, of course, go into the State Championship Series. So, again, more development and more playing time for, for our guys here. Yeah, I, I know uh, Tri-Series 3 in Hobart. It's always um, great to get down there. And, you know, the, the South definitely improving. You can clearly see an improvement from Tri-Series 1 to 2. You know, Nick and Brad doing some great development work. And I know they're really passionate about making their regions better, which overall makes our, our state better. Um, so from that standpoint, 16 nationals up in Darwin. All right, so we've headed headed north for both tournaments. It'll be quite nice and warm up there in July. Uh, and I'm really, really excited about both our 16 groups. So we're going to pick the teams on the back end of Tri-Series over this weekend. Um, but really excited about the prospects of both of those teams. Uh, it's uh, 
if you have a look at the squads, you see that we have you know some good size, right? Which is unusual for for us on both sides of the genders, girls and boys. So um, good size, good guard play, exciting. Well, I look forward to those announcements, Mark, and uh, thanks for your time. Good on you, Roll. Thank you.